Yo! Certainly everyone, no matter how old they are, should love and honor their mother, no matter what their mother's character is. And as long as one is a child, they should obey their mother. Even after becoming an adult, people should seek to respect their mother's wishes. And if their elderly mother is needy and they are able, they should take care of their mother. However, this natural relationship is regularly twisted into something very bad, that is, making mothers into idols, false gods. Being a quote-unquote mama's boy as a child is fine and is not what I'm talking about. What also should not be counted as being a mama's boy is living with your parents until a late age. Consider that throughout history, men live with their parents or parents until they plan to marry. And today, many men cannot afford to live alone, so that can be financially prudent. Also, if an elderly mother needs care, living with her would be highly convenient for both of them and inconvenient otherwise. The problem is being a mama's boy as an adult, which prevents or destroys healthy friendships and relationships and which prevents development. Here is what should be considered being a mama's boy. One, doing or being willing to do something clearly very immoral and or illegal under his mother's directive. Two, having his mother control his finances unless he's handicapped. Three, allowing his mother's directive or wishes to override his father's directive slash wishes. God ordained man to be the head of, of woman. It is an ironclad divine mandate for an adult male allowing his mother to continue to be the primary shaper of his thoughts and personality. Five, allowing what clothes he wears, car he drives, house he lives in, or what activities he does or does not partake in to be directed by his mother, unless he is severely handicapped. Six, if he allows his mother any input at all into any human relationship, as she should have none. In the early years of my parents' marriage, my mother and my father's mother were embattled. One time my grandmother called my mother and shouted through the telephone, Stop stealing my son! Thankfully, my father put her in her place, and my parents have now been married for 59 years. Several times different men's mothers caused my friendship with their son to terminate. But honoring your mother must not include stabbing someone else in the back. Factors that contribute to being a mama's boy. A man's mother having an unhealthy attachment to him. This often stems from her not having a husband, either from divorce or having never married his father who abandoned her. A man not having a father around for the re reasons just cited. Society's feminism. Women are regularly portrayed as much more intelligent, wise, mature, and moral than men when this is absolutely false. Due to this propaganda, men either consciously or unconsciously adopt femininity instead of masculinity. Recognizing these factors can help avoid them. Also consider that it takes no special character or effort to be a mother as even female skunks, rattlesnakes, or even mosquitoes become mothers via pure natural biology and nothing else. An estimated 4% of the general population are sociopaths. That is, completely bad people with no conscience whatsoever. And there's no good reason why the percentage of sociopathic mothers would be any lower. In fact, some men, including supposed Christians, have stated that if they found out their mother was a serial killer, they would never turn her in. Not only is it selfish, it is unwise since unrepentant murderers will be damned. But some who have been caught eventually turn to God while in prison and thus have hope of salvation. Also, women generally have more harmful emotions and less logical thinking than men. Yet facts don't care about your feelings. In fact, I believe that all mama's boys will eventually roost in a devil's hell. If you are one of them who is engaged in this faggotry, change your ways now.